today I'm going to be talking about the Anatolia Plateau. So basically I wanted to start talking with what is a plateau. A plateau is basically a flatland area which is higher than the surrounding area and they often have steep sides to it like this picture. Like, whoop. And there are five types of plateau all together. First is the Intermontane Plateau, second is the Volcanic Plateau, third is the Piedmont Plateau, fourth is the Continental Plateau, and lastly is the Oceanic Plateau. Intermontane Plateau are basically a, the highest plateau in the world and they often are surrounded by mountain ranges. The example will be Tibetan Plateau in Asia. Second of all is the Volcanic Plateau. This plateau is basically formed from a small volcanic eruptions slowly over time and they also, they also have like a lava flow inside the plateau which is cool. Third is the Piedmont Plateau. It's basically a plateau which one side is mountain and the other is either ocean or plains. And the fun fact about Piedmont Plateau is that the plateau Piet means foot while Mont means mountain. Together, they are called the foot of a mountain. Next is the continental plateau. A continental plateau is basically a plateau which all sides are surrounded by either ocean or plains. And an example will be the Antarctic plateau. Lastly is the Oceanic Plateau. This one is the coolest one of all of them to me and it surprises me because it's basically a plateau which is located under the ocean, on the ocean floor. The location of the Anatolian Plateau is in Turkey. It's in the northern part of Turkey. Well, if you're talking about Turkey, the old name of Turkey is Anatolia and the Anatolian Plateau is basically located in the eastern part of Anatolia, while it's located in the northern part of Turkey, if that makes sense. And it is known as the Asia Minor nowadays, so Asia Minor equals Anatolian Plateau. The Tigris and Euphrates rivers, which is known as a very long river, is also flowing through this plateau. And this is it's long, and the reason that it can flow through is because most of Turkey is, lies on this plateau, which is a fun fact. The plateau is surrounded by two basic mountains. Towards the north, it is the Pontic Mountain, which is close to the coast of Black Sea, while to the south, it is the Taurus Mountain, which is close to the Mediterranean coast. The height of this um, plateau is basically 500 meters high in elevation. How did it form? So it's formed from a collision with three active structures. First one is the Caucasus Mountain, next is the Asian Subduction Zone, and lastly the Dead Sea Fault System. So basically all of them collide and form this huge, huge, huge plateau. Why is it important? It's important because it acts like a bridge between Europe and Asia for a long time, like thousands of years. The history time. The history. Basically, the Hittites are the people which founded this Anatolia Plateau and they settled in here in the 1600 before the common era. They are the in they are the Indo-European group which settled here. They created an empire in Hutasa in Anatolia, or once today's Turkey. They spread across Asia Minor into the northern Levant and Upper Mesopotamia. And the reason they can spread this far is because they got horses and they also have wheels and wagons at that time. But sadly, in the 1180 before the Common Era, this empire happens to end. And the people who created the name Anatolian for this Anatolian plateau is also the Hittites, means the rising sun in Greek language. Lastly, this Anatolian plateau is known for the ruins of ancient groups such as the Hittites. Thank you for watching. Bye.